Director Brandon Kinnar joins us now in the studio with more on our special report. Yeah, Mark, Rebecca, NFL players spend their entire career in the spotlight, garnering attention for triumphs on and sometimes off the field. But that amount of time is a small window, and eventually the bubble is going to burst. Players must then ask themselves the question, what's next? The answer doesn't always come right away. Mm -hmm. Finding life after football isn't easy, but George Kuntz wrote the book on it. Literally. Is there life after football survive in the NFL? The former Packers linebacker and Super Bowl 31 champion is traded in his pads. George Kuntz made a diving interception. For books. Kuntz is one of only two former Packers to earn a PhD, and he's put it to use, helping craft a guide to help players survive the NFL. A lot of players are, are sad because all they know is, uh, you know, uh, competing, playing football, and at some point, that bubble's going to burst. Kutz now spends his days at Marion University in Fond du Lac, working as the senior vice president in the Office of University Relations. Keep, keep pitches around if there are some, sure. some students. I, I like to uh, pass these out. But even for someone who has found so much success, Kutz's transition to life after the NFL wasn't exactly smooth. Like many players, he struggled to find his place after a 10-year professional career. I struggled big time with depression, and uh, it was uh, really, really tough. I had to go through counseling. Depression that ultimately culminated in a serious car wreck in 2003. Kuntz says he took a curve at 75 miles an hour just to see what would happen. He walked away, but his life was changed forever. How big of a wake-up call was that for you? That was a huge uh, wake-up call because after that incident, that's when I said that uh, my football playing days is over with. That's behind me. Let's move forward. And that was the new George. This is my master's at, at East Carolina University. What followed was an right. emphasis right. on education. Right. Kuntz went back to his alma mater, East Carolina, to receive his master's, uh, then completing his PhD from Marquette in 2012. It was there that his idea to write a book came to life. The former Packer worked with MU professors James A. Holstein and Richard S. Jones. Together, they interviewed more than a 1,000 former players. The end product is their life after football, surviving the NFL, an award-winning guide helping former players better adapt to everyday life. What's that process like of contacting all of these people, gathering all this information? It's very, it's very, very tedious. You know, it took us about close to three years to, to get the book uh, uh, ready. But it was an experience, he says, that was also therapeutic. So in terms of, you know, it's not necessarily just work or gathering information, it's also, you know, sort of an outlet for you. To... Yeah, most definitely because I was struggling and, and just because a lot of times you don't really have anyone to, to talk to, but it's good to talk to them about their, their challenges to see if, if I'm crazy or not. And you're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Even those who may seem the most prepared struggle to survive. In the book, Kuntz credits it to the, quote, bubble-like conditions of privilege that NFL players experience while playing. He says it often leaves players unprepared for the real world once they retire and have to manage their own lives. For you, when you were a player, did you ever think about what's this going to be like when I'm done, or are you so caught up in that moment? Oh, most definitely. We talked about it all the time in the locker room, but when we left, it was totally different. The things that we talked about, we wanted to do, we weren't really prepared. The only way to beat that, Kuntz says, is preparation and education. Getting ready to take down an outside world that an NFL player seldom thinks about. We have to be uh, committed to being a life learner, a lifelong learner. Big thanks to George for sharing his personal yeah. story with me. A statistic cited in his book says that 78% of former players are in financial trouble within 24 months of when their playing days are done. Oh. You know, it's important to remember not everybody makes the Aaron Rodgers type money. You know, the average length of a career is only about three and a half years. And if you don't invest properly, you don't plan, plan properly, you could be in some trouble. Yeah. And we talk about it all the time, but you have to be the very best in high school to make it to a good right. college, very best in college to make it to the NFL. Once that all suddenly stops, what do you, what do, you do? do? You know, we always, this is one thing I've learned since I started covering the NFL, is we think of these people as superhuman, yeah. but they're people. You know, they're human. They need a support system like the rest of us. They can deal with depression. They can deal with emotional issues. And then, of course, they have to deal with the physical issues that come along with being an NFL player. It's a great opportunity, but there's a lot that comes along with it. And 
one thing George said that really struck me was he had 11 concussions during his career, and he's pretty sure that he had CTE, which is a lot of, you know, the, the issue that a lot of former NFL players deal with, uh, the brain trauma when they're done playing. So we'll hear from him on that coming up later in sports. It's some pretty startling stuff. Well, what an inspiration, though. He went to college, he got his degree, and he's actually helping people now. That's amazing. Yeah. He's worked at numerous colleges along the way. He's become an academic, really, really smart guy. I had fun talking to him. Okay, thanks Great so much. He shared his story. Thanks, Brandon. And be sure to join us tonight after the show for a special Facebook Live. Brandon will be talking more about his story and answering any of your questions. Again, that's around 1030 on our WAOW Newsline 9 Facebook page. And we're going to take a live look outside now on a beautiful night here in Wausau. Samantha's next with you.